Welcome to the show. This is beautiful. Isn't it lovely? You don't see that on TV. No, you don't. We show it sometimes, but... Uh, Sistine Chapel. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But it's better than the Sistine Chapel because we can That's change it every say. day. No. It's better than the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> it's not that weird to say. <laughs> A little weird. Once you've seen it, it's definitely better than the Sistine That's Chapel. It's better than the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. <laughs> Get your own show, Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, nice to meet that you. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, you. of your role. You're, you're playing uh, Tyrion Lannister on Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a lot of people are. It's a little adult for me. Yeah. It's a little, a little inappropriate. It's uh, late night cable. It sure is. It sure yeah. is. You get to use the bad words and not bleep them over there. That's true. Yeah. They're fun to say. With the Westerosian accent. They're, yes. They're, they're very fun to say. Well, I, I was also a fan of uh, the, the person you're playing in, in the new movie, of Hervé Villachez, because mm -hmm. I was a huge Fantasy Island fan. Mm -hmm. And that's how most people got to know Hervé Villachez. Strange show. Yeah, yeah. very strange show. <laughs> did, you, did you watch that show when you were growing up? I did. Well, I snuck up to my grandmother's house. She had a big old TV. My parents didn't have a TV in the house. Um, Wait a second. You yeah, grew up I, without a television? No, I don't think Are that... Are you an American? I don't... <laughs> Were your parents, like, just anti-TV, or they just didn't enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, they are smart. <laughs> <laughs> we... We you did something. Right now, you're part of the problem, then, because you're on. There was there was something called books many years ago. Oh, I've heard. Uh, we read the. I've no, heard. No, but my grandmother things. had uh, a big old TV in Fantasy Island. Love Boat and Fantasy Island was like a double feature. Sure, Saturday nights. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But Fantasy Island was a, uh, like a cross between Love Boat and The Twilight Zone. Um, right. I don't know if anybody remembers the show, but it was it sort of was a mind effer. Yes. <laughs> So, Irving Villachez was, uh, was the, was the uh, like, number two to uh, Mr. Rourke, who was yes. the guy who owned the island. And Tattoo. Tattoo, that's right. I couldn't remember the character's name. Yeah. Tattoo. Yeah. And he was the one who would say, the plane, the plane, when the plane was, was landing every yeah. episode, right? Yeah, and the funny thing is, even if you weren't familiar with the show, you sort of knew that catchphrase. Um, I heard it sometimes growing up. Um, oh, people would yell it at you. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, 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 uh a misunderstanding. <laughs> it wasn't me, so. Did, so, did you have any kind of? Um, did, they, did that make you angry that he existed, or give you sympathy for his position? This is going to be therapeutic now, isn't it? <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I, I feel like he was uh, part of a TV show that was delivering upon what he, he knew he, what he was getting himself into. Um, he was a brilliant man. Uh, the movie explores that. Um, he just sort of got wrapped up in the, uh, the fame of it all. And what's the actual story of the movie? What is My Dinner with Hervé? Um, my good friend Sasha Gervasi, who wrote and directed the film, he interviewed Hervé in 1993, a couple months before he committed suicide. Um, and he realized it was just like a puff piece. He was a British journalist, and it was a puff piece um, that he was sort of um, told to go to Los Angeles and do. And over the course of three nights, he, Hervé, sort of revealed his whole life story to him, and then only later did he realize it was sort of a suicide note. Well, we, we, have, a, we have a clip here, um, and uh, it's Hervé and the, and the reporter in a limousine, I think. Yes. And they're discussing whether God exists, I think. Sure. <laughs> so. so what kept you going? Was self-belief? Determination? Or, or was it... Was it just pure desperation? I mean, you had nothing to lose, nothing to go back to. No, it was God. God is the one that kept me going. You seriously believe in God? Yes, and I know he will never let me down. Well, some might say he already did. Yes, he make me this way, sure. But I know he offer fame as one of his little compensations. I know it. 
How could you possibly know that? Because I pray for a miracle. And it happened. Um, and that's uh, 30 Shades Freed, Jamie Dornan. <laughs> Um, you and uh, Jamie Dornan uh, both have... Uh, they're, they're, they're big successes, but they have sort of cultish fans. Like, very obsessive cultish fans. Did very you different fans. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, really? I've... I mean, there's a lot of uh, fairly upsetting I sex think in both. I think fans <laughs> would take issue with uh, comparing the two. Because their uh, <clears throat> Game of Thrones fans are very specific and lovely. <laughs> Fifty Shades fans have issues. <laughs> and it takes it takes all types. It's, it's all, all very types. suppressed issues, I think. You know. Did you guys compare? Like, did you compare your fans? Um, no, I read some of the screenplay though in our dressing room. Um, I went in. He had to do some reshoots for Fifty Shades, and I. Uh, would help him out uh, learning lines. I read the... the uh, <laughs> God, I, I would I read the Dakota right Johnson now. parts. Wow. Yeah. Did you nail it? I was just helping it? a friend learn lines. <laughs> I nailed it. Sure. Yeah. I really did. That, I, I think that's one of the lines. <laughs> now... <laughs> from both Game of Thrones. Exactly. From both Game of Thrones and Fifty right. Shades, yes. Um, uh, we we got to go here in a minute, but I, but I can't. I, I'm it. not going to ask you, like, Game of Thrones is wrapped, right? It's, all, the, 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 it's totally wrapped at this point. Yes. Okay. So I know you can't tell me anything about what happens in the season. I'm not going to put you on the spot, but... Um... No, but I'll be all clever and coy with my answers. <laughs> <laughs> and frustrate all of you. <laughs> no, but happy ending, right? It's all a happy ending, sure. right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I really, uh... Sure. It's sure. Everything's I'm a fine. terrible actor, but I've perfected these responses. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, what was it? Just tell me what the last day was like, what the last day of shooting was like. Jamie actually came to our rap party. Okay. Uh, of the Game of Thrones. It was in Belfast. It was a crazy night, and he's from Belfast. Um, so that was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was a great rap party. That's fine. You don't. You, this, yeah. We're good. There were just dragons in the show. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. I haven't gotten that far into the show yet. I didn't know about the. You dragons. don't watch the show. Just, but what? You don't. You read the books, don't you? I read the books, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I, I'm, I'm in season one right now. I've, I finally, like, I've finished Dance with Dragons. I'm like, well, I gotta do something now. So I'm in season one of the show, but I don't actually. I haven't actually read. I, you're fantastic as Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> oh, okay. You're fantastic. I'm not saying. That's the funny thing. There, there, when we started the show, there were all these like, readers of the book, and they were all like, hmm, yeah, hmm, to the casting, and hopefully most of them are happy now. No, it's absolutely... It's You're having absolutely, a bit of that It's now. a perfect adaptation of the books, in my opinion. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. It's up there with, like, you know, Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. It's right up there. Yes. Have you read those books? Yes. Did you enjoy those? Long time ago. Yeah. Can you stay for another 20 minutes to talk about Let's that? Let's do it. Let's <laughs> get our nerds off. off. They're going to make me turn off the cameras. Oh, that would be weird. Yeah, because CBS <laughs> hates it when I talk about The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for being here. My Dinner with Hervé premieres this Saturday on HBO. Peter Dinklage, everybody. We'll be right back.